So you're thinking of moving to Seattle, Washington, but you want to get away from the city and you love the nature, then this video is for you. Today, we're covering Snoqualmie, Washington. <laughs> I'm a local real estate broker at Steel Realty Group right here in Bellevue, Washington, and I do a ton of videos of what it's like to live, work, and play in the Pacific Northwest. And today, we're covering Snoqualmie, Washington. On a map, Snoqualmie looks far away from Seattle and Bellevue, but it's really not. It's just a straight shot down Highway I-90. If you need to commute to downtown Seattle, it would take you about 30 to 40 minutes. Downtown Bellevue, 20 to 30, and Kirkland, 30 to 40, just depending on how much traffic there is. Okay, so we are pulling into the Snoqualmie Ridge neighborhood. Snoqualmie is well known for Snoqualmie Falls. And later in this video, we'll show you a beautiful view of the falls. We'll zip over there, put the drone up. And it's a great place to go and take a hike from the top of the falls to the bottom. We have a, uh, a viewing deck and one of the waterfalls really raging. You can get water all over you. Uh, the mist is pretty neat. Um, but from this neighborhood, there are some walking trails that you could actually walk um, to the falls as well. I'll be your raincoat on high tide, your sailboat. When the water flows from your eyes, and when the night comes, I'll be your lighthouse. Save you from water flows in your eyes. So Snoqualmie, this neighborhood was established in the early 2000s. So a lot of these homes are built in 2004, 2008, and there's even some new construction ones uh, going on right now. It continues to grow, uh, it's being developed right now. So if you want to live in the Snoqualmie neighborhood, a condo starts at the 650, 700 price range, a townhouse they, uh, they're gonna be closer to your 800 to 1 million price point. Uh, if you're looking for a residential home, the price point definitely will be in the 1 million, but be prepared to spend 1.2. And then they're, um, like the homes on our left-hand side, these are typically 1,800 square feet, three bedrooms built in 2004. Um, they'll sell for 850, 900,000 price point. Um, up here, we are going to pull into a larger neighborhood where these homes are 3,000 to 5,000 square feet homes. Um, these will sell closer to 1.6, you know, 1.7, and some of them even $2 million, um, just depending on the views. And then some of these homes are on the golf course. Matter of fact, um, we got a little surprise for you. We're going to drive by a, a project that we worked on recently. Um, show you some photos of the um, interior staging but this home is absolutely gorgeous right on the right on the golf course and this uh, price point of this neighborhood 1.7 to 2 million as well so behind the homes here let's we'll see with the drone the golf course <laughs>
So Snoqualmie is really well known for their school districts, uh, the school district. Um, all the schools, not all, but the majority of the schools around here are brand new. And with all the new constructions and tax revenue, they've been able to have a really good base to establish a good school district. Now Snoqualmie, we'll go through the city of Snoqualmie and you're going to see a historical time capsule from uh, you know, 1860 to the early 1900s. Snoqualmie is really known for logging uh, back in the day, so you're going to see trains and um, old historical trains on the tracks with trees on them. Um, it still has that old time capsule feel, kind of similar to uh, Issaquah and North Bend. Now, commute time. To get to Bellevue, you're looking at a 20 minute drive. If you want to go to Seattle, it's a good solid 30 minutes. You'll be traveling on Highway I-90, which is a really fast highway. Um, and until you get to 405, that's where it starts to get backed up a little bit. But if you're going to Seattle, you can just shoot straight across the bridge or even Mercer Island. We can get to Mercer Island in 20 minutes from where we are here. So, But uh, people love, absolutely love Snoqualmie. But you are on the top of a hill. You're in the mountains. Um, you know, zoom out on the uh, aerial map or we'll take you up in the drones and you're going to see trees, trees, and more trees. And oh, there's a massive housing development there. Um, now, if you're looking to live in Snoqualmie, I would recommend sticking in into the newer housing developments. Um, there are some pretty neat homes in Snoqualmie, but a lot of them are in a flood zone. So that is what we have to really look out for. But the uh, part of Snoqualmie uh, Ridge where we're at now, this is not, um, we're up on the hill, there's no flood uh, danger, but you get down in the valley, definitely is a concern that we have when we're searching for homes. So Snoqualmie Ridge has all the amenities that you would need to sustain life up on the hill. We have several Starbucks. There's a hospital, multiple grocery stores. We'll drive over to the industrial side now so you can get an idea, get an idea of what Snoqualmie has to offer when it comes to um, commercial amenities. Okay, so we're pulling into the shopping center of Snoqualmie Ridge. It's just a little piece of it. You can see lots of restaurants, workout places, just about everything you need is right up here. Snoqualmie is well known for the amount of open spaces, parks, and recreation in almost every neighborhood. Snoqualmie parks aren't just your typical little parks. We're talking soccer fields, jungle gyms, swing sets, basketball courts, tennis courts, even skate parks. There's so much recreation to do in Snoqualmie. It's one of these places where you can tell your kids to go play, have fun, and be home when the street lights come on. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it added value, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see the next video, go ahead and subscribe. And if there's a video that you're interested in, whether it's a neighborhood or home or a topic, go ahead and comment below. We're interested in hearing what you have to say. We love doing these videos and we'll do our best to get to it. If you're looking to buy, sell, or stage your home in the Pacific Northwest, send us a text, give us a call, reach out. This is what we do and we'd love to help. Okay, until the next video, we'll catch you later. This is Matt Steele with Selling Seattle.